In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Adobe Captivate and uh, dealing with interactions. I got a question from Anna, and she wanted to know if there was a way in Adobe Captivate to be able to detect when audio has finished playing in order to load an image and text box. Basically, what she's doing is she's got a learning scenario where upon entering the slide, audio narration kicks in to provide students with the next set of instructions that would include how they should respond to people scenarios. Uh, then each person pops up one at a time with audio, think carnival shooting game. Student clicks either yes, I can disclose, no, I can't disclose, or this is a gray area button before the next image pops up. Feedback should say only correct or incorrect. So this is a, a pretty interesting scenario and uh, like, like Anna, I thought about this for quite a few hours and you know I kept thinking about okay well if we do this then we could do some um, you know advanced in uh, actions and do maybe uh, conditional actions to figure out certain things and then suddenly it occurred to me I think this can be a lot simpler so let me show you the solution that I've come up with and what I did was I simply combined three multiple choice questions and you know the they they work very much like what she's describing um, in this case I kinda changed the scenario a little bit hers was a um, a different uh, set of questions but I just came up with this like an ethics 101 type of course let me run the preview and just show you real quickly how the end results should work so let's just do next five slides so that we can see that real quickly the really in this case it's all about layering the stuff on the page or on, in this case on the question slide to make it appear as if it's literally the same page you're looking at. So in this case, we come up with question one, which isn't really a question. It's just, you know, my company would like to do business with your company. Why don't we meet for lunch to discuss the details? Can you accept this? You could say yes, no, or it depends. Uh, in this case here, I think it's pretty safe to say that you could say yes, I can accept. So we'll hit submit. Yes, lunch is an acceptable business affair, and it's okay. And of course, uh, you would have narration over all of this stuff if you wanted to. I didn't bother with that because I knew I'd be talking over top. But the idea here is that, you know, then you can get the feedback, the narration for that, the narration for the slide, and, and so on. So click anywhere to continue. So it feels like we're still on the same question because all that's happened is the the first character has kind of faded out and the second character appears so he's saying let's discuss the details over a round of golf at my club this weekend uh, yes I can accept no I can't accept I'm gonna say in this case it depends because of course uh, that's right you need more information to make a judgment for example having a meeting while playing a round of golf is fine flying to Hawaii and playing golf over a long weekend could be misconstrued as accepting gifts in exchange for business so click anywhere to continue and then you know we're brought to the last scenario this gentleman here it'll be my pleasure doing business with you hey my company has a villa in Spain you are welcome to use it along with the company jet anytime you wish just give me a call and I'll set it up can you accept this no you can't accept this it depends I'd say it's a safe bet that no you can't accept this not rocket science here but uh, you know again it's mostly just to illustrate how you can have three multiple choice questions simply appear as if they're all part of one set of interactions of course you've made the right choice this is too extravagant a gift to accept for doing business with you click anywhere to continue so that's basically how this interaction works um, it's really straightforward I just have a three uh, question sorry a three answer multiple choice question I added a character I drew this line just to have a a separator between the um, the bottom and the top here and the characters standing behind something let's say 
this first question, just a, a simple set of uh, correct, incorrect, and, and a hint. Of course, you must answer the question before continuing. And of course, there's one correct answer. Then I duplicated this slide. And for those that don't know, you can simply right click and either hit Control D or click on Duplicate. And then I simply added the new elements. I changed the answer to it depends for this particular scenario added this character, and I simply added a slightly transparent white box just to fade her out into the background. And then of course I did the same thing with the final question, added a third character, again the same set of questions, just changed the correct answer, and then added the appropriate messages in the caption boxes. And again, just took the white box that was previously covering just the first character and had to cover all of the characters. So a lot of this has to do with layering and setting things up. But sometimes, you know, I think we overthink the e-learning solution and forget that the, the solutions that are built into Adobe Captivate are fairly robust. So when you're looking at that storyboard that's been provided to you, and you're trying to figure out how to do this, take a look at the tools that are already available to you and try not to make things too complicated. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up.